Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and do you want to spoof your location on your Android phone so that you guys can be anywhere at any time at the comfort of your own home and probably you want to spoof it because you want to protect your privacy or you're playing some geolocation based games and you're too lazy to be at the exact location itself or you want to like really do like a lot of you know spoofing things but you can't because you know it's pretty much impossible well what if I tell you there is a way today that you guys can spoof at the comfort of your own home diary from your phone without any external devices like your PC or any other plug-in device at all to spoof your location. Well, it is with the help of this software right here. So this is the i2 lab and it go and it's my go-to software or and it's my go-to app, all right, when I want to spoof my location on my Android phone, all right. So yeah, this is an app itself. They do have the software version and they do have like the Mac OS version, but I'm going to show you guys today demonstrating you on the phone itself because spoofing on the phone directly is much more easier compared to, you know, needing a PC. Basically, if you're spoofing on your phone itself, you guys can spoof at anywhere at any time right but if you're spoofing for your pc you probably need to like you know stay at home and you know connect to your pc so today we are going to focus on how you guys can spoof it directly on your android using the anygo app for android all right so um yeah so this is a really really useful tool i've been using for a long time whenever i want to hide my privacy or i don't want my friends to know where i am you know like snapchat they can see where your friends are all right or even some geolocation based games where i want to like play certain things, catch certain things, all right? And um, while using this, I can be at my home or at, at outside or anywhere when someone say, hey, there's a very rare, like, you know, maybe a Pokemon over there and, you know, I can just like spoof it and over there and just like catch it. So it's really incredible, really easy and, you know, it's really, really fun to do. All right, so without further ado, let me just go ahead and demonstrate to you how this thing actually works. All right, so yeah, so without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you guys the spoofing process itself and the demonstration of the different types of features they have. Let's go. Shoo. Okay, so what you guys are seeing now right here, all right, I have on the left side is the any goal that I have opened and on the right side is my Google Map to be used for demonstration. As you guys can see right now, I am at my home, all right, and whenever I want to do any like, you know, spoofing, all I have to do is to select where I want to be on the map itself on the AnyGo app and I just probably have to click on here and then I come up with three different options. There is a teleport, two point and multi point. I'm gonna show you the first point which is called the teleport, all right? And the teleport is really much self-explanatory. You just need to hit the teleport and you are teleported and after that, you will see that on my Google Maps itself, my GPS is showing that I am teleported right over there. So yeah, it is really, really awesome. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, so it shows that I have teleported over there on my GPS location. All right, and uh, let me just show you another point itself, okay? So I can like maybe zoom all the way out and choose another country because this is not limited to your home country. You can also use it to teleport anywhere you want in the world. So I'm gonna just zoom all the way out. All right, and then maybe find somewhere else instead, all right, of my home country, Singapore. Let's try somewhere in Thailand, shall we? All right, so in Thailand, we have right over here, we just do click on anywhere, and, uh, <coughs> but I can just teleport it away, right? So bam, all right, so if I were to zoom out on my Google Maps, I am in Thailand, look at that. All right, so yeah, it's pretty, really cool. All right, you can teleport anywhere you want in the world. But let me just go back to my home country. It will be much, much easier to demonstrate, all right? So um, let me just teleport myself back real quick. All right, so this is my current location right now. And uh, let me just show you another, another features, all right? So the other one is called the two-point mode. So what does two-point mode mean? So if I click on that, all right, you guys can see that and they come out with an actual route. So this is the actual route that you know, if you're using Google Maps, this and that, all right, it will plan an actual route from point A to the end point itself. So it looks way more realistic as if you are traveling ideally, all right? So you guys can set your speed, you guys can see. All right, you guys can see how long it will take to reach there. 10 minutes, 10 seconds, the faster the speed, the lesser it will take, all right? So uh, you can you guys can also start it to favor it. You guys can add your own route as well, all right? Once you're satisfied with it, you can just click on start. All right, and go to settings and to make the appear on top i have to like turn it on all right the permission and bam all right so right now you guys can see on my google map itself my gps is moving all right and it's following the pathway that i've set all right that the 
waypoint have set from the any goal Alright, so you guys can see it's following an actual route on the road itself Which is really really cool, there's a bit of like um, flinching but I think it's fine alright um, After I'm using this, I don't run into any issues alright It's just a bit of my device heating up real quick as I have seen So it turns into dark mode to, to prevent my, my device from heating up But um, probably I just quit it for now okay And um and let's just go into another mode, shall we? So if we go into this mode, all right, if we have the multi-point mode, what does multi-point do? Multi-point do is basically you can select multiple points, like one over here. I can put one, another one over here. I can put another one over here, and I can put another one over here. So I have like multiple waypoints over here. I can put a lot of different points that um that I have the, my point of interest that I want to visit. So I can put all at once, and after that I can select the speed I want to. And just click on start Alright, and you will start traveling in a straight line So this will not travel in like an actual route But you'll travel in a, in a straight line Which is also really cool But if you want a more realistic version You just have to use the, the two point mode, alright So the multi point you guys have had like a lot of multi point Different point you guys can see, alright It is traveling at one point right now, okay and uh, yeah, so you will reach one point and then after you travel to another point And then you will travel to the third point, fourth point and end off at the fifth point So you guys can have a lot of points, up to 10, 20 points, up to you, okay? So yeah, you can quit this for now And sometimes if you don't want to find it on the map itself Just like, you know, you don't know where the exact location is on the map You know, it's very hard to find and zoom in and find the exact location Alright, to be at the location you want Then you can also obviously search for the location itself you can just enter the address, you can enter the coordinates as well So I can just probably put like, you know, Changi Airport Okay, uh, Changi Airport, Singapore, okay Changi, okay, I, just, I can just click on teleport And bam, so you guys can search up for the location you want Alright, and you can be teleported So you guys can search for the location, you guys can search for the Postal code as well, if you know the postal code So you can make makes everything much simpler So this is the postal code of my home And I can teleport back to my home And yeah, you guys can see Alright, you guys can do it Alright, by searching on the search bar itself So you'll be much easier and much faster Below here, they have a few other different features This, the iOS thing is basically You guys can control your iPhone When you connect via Bluetooth to your Android phone So you guys can use your Android phone to control your, to spoof your iPhone location using Bluetooth, which is really cool. If you have that, you guys can certainly use that. All right, and they do have like specific um, modes. All right, for specific games like Pokemon Go. All right, um, I have to install like a specific version of of the game. I don't have the game yet. All right, you have Monster Hunter now. You guys can also do it for DQW. All right, so they have specific modes for that to make it much simpler and some automated modes as well and some macros they have all right, for certain games. So if you are like playing this game and you want to use this to play, to spoof those games, all right, you can actually do so. And I've been using it and I don't have any issues using it. So yeah, I think it's really, really okay to do that. All right, you guys have joystick mode. All right, I forgot to mention this mode. All right, so the joystick mode is basically it's also much self-explanatory Alright, you guys can see on the top I can control the direction where I want to move And on the GPS, I will move in the direction that I am moving in So, um, yeah, so this is how you actually You know, move in any direction So you guys can control your location on where you want to move So I can just control where I want to move And I can just turn it around Whenever I'm done, I can just click on stop Alright, and it will stop for me So I can just quit it Alright, and I will exit joystick mode So you guys can move in any direction freely Alright And you guys can have this um, have a history as well, you can see the route that you have been to So if you like certain route or certain places you have been to You guys can obviously favorite it And come back to visit it another time Alright, and they do have like, you know, um, favorites as well So you can add your favorites here, like I say Alright, well, from a history you guys can just add your favorites in So, yeah, it's really really cool You guys can do spoofing directly right into the Android phone itself On your Android phone itself So you guys can spoof anywhere and whenever you want to So which is really convenient, really easy to use, okay? So yeah, this is pretty much the demonstration on how you guys can spoof your GPS location directly on your Android phone itself. And I think it's really, really cool all right? and really convenient as well. Alright, so if you guys have seen from the spoofing process itself, it's very, very simple, very, very straightforward. I just have to download the app, alright, and start spoofing. I don't even have to jailbreak my phone or do any settings to my phone. The only thing I have to do is to enable developer option and put the smart location app set to 
the Edigo and that's it, alright? You don't have to do a lot of changes to your phone itself, alright? And uh, once I quit the app, alright, my GPS go back to normal and I can use it for normal navigation, alright? And as you can see from the demo, it might be a bit glitchy sometimes, but it's totally fine, alright? On the other games, alright, probably on Google Maps, it shows a bit glitchy, but on the other games, alright, uh, my character stays where it is, where the spoof location is. So I think there's no issues with that. Alright, I've been using this for quite some time now to spoof like certain games and um, yeah, it's been working really, really well. I can fool my friends sometimes, alright, and they think how oh, why am I at this location at this certain time? You know, it's really funny, alright. And yeah, you can do a lot of things with it, and you can just spoof any time you want, which is really really easy to do. And um, yeah, so if you guys want to check out this i2 lab and you go for Android, you guys can check out the first link in the video description down below and get this software for yourself right now. And it's really really cool and you know it can save you so much time instead of being at the exact location at the actual location itself all right you guys can be anywhere at the comfort of where you are all right so basically so once again if you guys check out this i2 lab and you go for android you guys can check out the first link in the description down below and get this for yourself right now so yeah that's all the guys and this is jforce gaming i shall see you guys in my next video peace out I cry.